As a website owner, one of the biggest challenges is handling traffic spike. Whether it's a viral blog post, a big scale event or campaign offer, or launching a new course online, a sudden rush of visitors can make your website slow down and stop working. That's where Cloudless Autonomous come in. It's fully managed WordPress hosting solution that's automatically scale resource up or down based on your traffic demand. Hey everyone, I'm Azi, a freelance web designer. I specialized in creating high converting website that delivers awesome user experience. Today we're going to cover a few things to help you make a decision whether you go with CloudOS Autonomous or not. First of all, we are just going to see CloudOS Autonomous overview with infrastructure details. Then we are trying to learn about what is CloudOS Autonomous and how it is different from CloudOS Flexible. Also, we will know some of the key users and type of website that can be hosted on CloudOS Autonomous. Also, we will learn about who is the targeted audience for this platform. Then we are going to see in a demo and also going to see how to set up CloudOS Autonomous. And the next, we're going to see how to set up CloudOS Flexible. At the last, I'm going to show you that how you can transfer your website into CloudOS Autonomous. Before go ahead, let me tell you one thing that this video is sponsored by CloudOS. CloudOS Autonomous is a game changer for WordPress hosting. It's built on Google Kubernetes engine, which is like having a whole team of experts managing your server performance behind the scene. This means your site automatically scale up or down based on traffic, ensuring it stay lighting fast even during those massive spike. It's also integrated with Cloudflare, Enterprise Gate CDN and caching, adding more layer of speed and security. CloudOS Automass is all about being hands up. It's fully managed, being you don't have to worry about your server configuration or scaling. It's perfect if you want a high-performing site without the technical headache. On the other hand, CloudOS Flexible gives you more control. You can choose your cloud provider and server size, which is great if you need a specific customization, but it also means you are more responsible for managing your server. CloudOS Automaz is ideal for high traffic sites that experience unpredicted spike. This include e-commerce store, let's say handling Black Friday or flash sale traffic with Ace, membership site and online courses. No more downtime during this launch day. Blog and news sites. One interesting thing is like viral article would not crash your server. High traffic business sites. CloudOS Autonomous ensure a smooth experience for your visitors no matter how many there are. CloudOS Autonomous is perfect for non-technical to moderately technical website owner, businesses with high traffic website, and anyone who want a hassle-free hosting experience like set it and forget it. Let CloudOS Autonomous take care of the rest. To create a CloudOS account, you need to type here in your browser mdlj.com slash CloudOS. Then you will be redirect on this registration page where you can see like in a coupon code already added like export. So with this coupon code, you're going to get 20% discount for next three months. Whatever you buy from CloudOS, you will get this discount. And to finish this account setup, you just need to type your name, email address, and you can set up a password and then just click on start free this button. Then check your email address and you'll get to see this email, right? And then you need to click on here, this login and active this button. And then you need to click on this login now button because as you can see, I already put my username and password, like my email and password. And then you will get to see like this type of page when you're gonna open it. But don't worry, uh, if you don't wanna go with, then just click on just left side, just hover on left side, and then click on this dashboard button, then you will get to see all of this. If you, you know, all of this server, if you just create anything, then you will get to see all of this in here. So this is mainly for the autonomous apps, and this is mainly for flexible apps, and this is total how many servers you have just created, you will get to see in here. Okay, so then if you just hover in again, then you get to see cloud is flexible, so you will get to see this one here and this is mainly CloudOS Autonomous and this is client billing 
and this is team and the, here is the add-on so if you go to this add-on then you will get to see a few of this add-on let's say uh, astra pro cloud os you know some of the people they like to use astra pro then you can do it from here also have a cloud layer also have a save modes and a few more things available in there you can check it out if you already for the account and here's the projects that you can see all of this project in here and this is the affiliate area and if you just click on here then uh, you will get to see my account let me go there and in here you just need to click on this payment address button and then you need to input here all of your information and then you also need to set up your credit card or debit card whatever you have you need to set up in here then you can purchase or buy uh, cloud is autonomous okay now i'm going to show you that how we can install cloud is autonomous apps okay so to do that we need to click on here this cloud is autonomous this button then you can see like this and now we need to click on choose button then you can see all of this plan in there also if you like to compare all of this plan then you can just click on compare all plans this button then you can see all of these details let's say this plan one how many application you can do how many this space you will get visit all of these you can see and here and you can just like do the comparison in there and if you scroll down then you get to see more some information and now I'm just going to go with this plan one. So I'm just going to click and uh, get started this button. Now you might thinking that these autonomous, they have any free trial option or not. So unfortunately they don't have any free trials option, but I check their autonomous page and here you can see they are saying, let's say uh, if you see carefully, you can easily activate and dig tip auto at your uh, convenience, okay. So that means, let's say if you use only five days, right? And after five days, you just cancel it and you don't wanna, right? Then they're gonna charge only $5, $5.83. $5 they're not gonna charge for 30 days money, okay? They're gonna only charge for five days. So it's totally flexible. So you don't need to worry about it, okay? So you can just like <laughs> choose any plan, okay? So right now I'm gonna go with this plan. Now let's say confirm this plan, right? And then as you can see, it's gonna take a little bit time and now they are asking for what is my application name so i'm going to type my youtube channel name so i'm going to type in let's say my plan application name is xparazi and here is really they are saying that which is our region so in my case most of the visitors going to come from uh, like uh, singapore will be more better for me but in your case it can be different like it's based on your location you're going to get to see different different let's say south carolina then london it's totally based on you so I'm gonna choose here Singapore. Then application type, what you're gonna use. So in my case, I like to go with WooCommerce because uh, I like to make an uh, e-commerce website. So that's why I like to go with WooCommerce. And yeah, this is, and now let's click on add application this button. So now they're gonna take almost few minutes, approx three minutes to set up my application. And then again, I'm gonna continue, okay? So our application is successfully installed, as you can see, and we also get on a pop-up that it migrate your application to CloudOS, right? If you have any website that's built up in another hosting company or another another hosting, then you can simply migrate to CloudOS Autonomous if you like to do anything. But in later, I'm gonna show you the how to do, okay? So I'm gonna set up it, I will do it later because and later I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so right now, as you can see, this is our application. And this is all of this we can see. And if you just click on this three dot button, then you can see like clone application and create a starting. And here's the delete application if you like to delete it. And if you like to create a new application, then you can create more, okay? But you need to just upgrade the plan, okay? All right, so now let's simply click on here this link. I just click on this link as you can see, and it simply redirect me and a fresh WordPress website with their domain, like CloudOS domain. And if I just click on again here, this like the photo or the left side, then as you can see, I can see the name, I can see the link, I can also see all of this here, right? This is the resource, how many total space I use, I can see it here. And here's my performance. And here, as you can see, CDN is already enabled. Also, Object Cache Pro is also enabled. Here, as you can see, these workflow tools. Like, if you like to take in a backup or if you like to take in a restore, then you can do it. Here's the PHP setting. And then it's here have a stacking management. It's something like if you like to install a new code or let's say you like to install a new plugin, but you you are not sure that your website gonna break or not. So you can use this stacking management tool and do the setup all of this. And if you like it, then you can push it into your own servers, right? So this is mainly like a stacking management. If you just read it, then you're gonna understand what I'm really saying. 
Okay, then it's the intelligence. Then you can see logs and traffic analysis you can do. And then have a manage access. So where you can see like your ACE, ACE, ACE and SFTP credential details in here. So you can see the host and username and password. Here you can see the domain management. If you like to add your domain name, then you can simply add here. And then it's have a database. Like you can also launch your database manager and you can do this changes and here you can see all of this credential and if you like to click on here this uh, view credential this button then you will get to see it's mainly in a url so if you just click on this url it's gonna redirect into your wordpress login page like username and password you can do there so let me copy here my username let's copy and also let me pay just copy my password also and let's say just paste it and just click on this login button then we're gonna log in in our wordpress website and now whatever I'm just gonna do the changes in here on this backend, people can get to see the changes in front of everyone is already know, right? If I do changes on header, I, I cannot do in front of like this domain. I need to come to come back to my like admin panel like this. And now I can, whatever I gonna do the changes, it's gonna apply into the front end. So I hope guys, now you get a clear idea like how to set up Cloudless Autonomous. Now I think you can do it by yourself. If you want to build your website by yourself, then I highly recommend you click on this i button. Then you, you can see in a video where I show you that how we can build a website in WordPress. Okay. All right. So now let's go back again our dashboard. Just click on this dashboard button. And now I'm going to show you that how we can create a flexible apps. Okay. So it's kind of very same and very simple like autonomous, but it's have a, some more extra setting. Okay. Let me click on this cloud is autonomous and I'm just click on the, my here, my like this my application this button and now i'm just going to click on this launch now button and now you can you need to select here which application you like to build let's say i like to go with uh, woocommerce so i just select woocommerce and now i need to put here my application name and here you can see your like server name and you need to type here your project name then you will get to see something like this and why you can choose which server you like to use digital ocean or Whatever you use, you can do it from here. And then you can see the pricing that how much they're gonna charge monthly and hourly, you can see the price. Also, you can select here your location where you like to store the data. Uh, it's totally depend on like which type of visitor you mostly get. Let's say most of the visitor, if you get from uh, USA, then select New York. If you get from UK, then go with London. It's totally depend on your visitor, okay? All right, so now you can select here the service size, how much you want. So as you can see, it's over two GB. Um, they recommend with 4 GB, right? They are recommended with 4 GB, but you can go with 2 GB also, as you can see. And then you need to click on this launch now button. Then you will get to see the same thing like here. You will get to see the same thing. Okay. Transforming your website into CloudOS, it's very simple to do. Okay. Let me show you how it is. So first of all, you need to log in your WordPress dashboard and you need to click on add new button. So right now I like to transfer this website, as you can see, into my this domain. And this is, as you can see, totally fresh domain. There is nothing, only fresh WordPress installed. And this is my e-commerce website, okay? So I come here in this plugins and add new, and now I'm just gonna search in CloudOS. And now you need to install this plugin and you also need to activate this plugin. And when you can activate this plugin, you need to come here in this bottom. As you can see, we get an option called CloudOS migration. Simply click on there. And now we need to input here on one of the email. And now I'm just going to click on this migrate button. Now we need to select here where you like to transfer your website. Let's say in my case, I'm going to transfer in Cloudless Autonomous. And here I need to put my destination URL. So this is my website URL, destination URL. So I'm going to type here. And now I need to add my SFTP host or server address. So I'm going back and now I need to click on this manage access this button. Then you get to see this default credential. So I'm going to copy here my host and simply paste here. I'm going back to again my username. So copy username and come back again and I just paste the username. Let's come back again and copy the password. So I'm going to copy it. And now I just paste it here. And now the source site information. So I like to, yes, I don't just going to yes like any do direction you wanna to migrate so i'm just going to select this and now that's it so i now need to click on this migrate button and they're gonna take a little bit time for verifying 
So now I can see here like these they are merely scanning all of this file and also they are scanning the table and here we can see the progress of overall migration and this is my current website and this is the new website where they are merely transferring all of this data. In the meantime I like to share with you an interesting thing that is like if you just go back to CloudOS and if you go here this intelligence okay so intelligence we're not gonna say anything let's see here in workflow and tools if you come here then you might get to see the option called backup and restore okay so as you can see they automatically taking a backup so let's say on this like in this time you just successfully uh, migrate your website like transform all this file into new what like cloud os and you get an error so you can directly contact with them let's say if you simply just click on this website need help then you can just simply click on chat then as you can see, I have already talked with multiple support team and they are super fast and you can just start a message and you can tell more details about them and they're going to help you. Definitely, they're going to help you instantly. Whatever you have issue, they're going to help you. Also, if you want to solve it by yourself, then you can simply restore the data that have in here. They already take the backup so you can easily restore it. Also, if you like to take in a new backup, then you can do it from here. OK, so I highly recommend you before take any action. Let's say you like to transfer it right now. I highly recommend you make sure that you take a backup and then you can do all of this process. But during this process, if you face any issue, then just click on need help this button and just like tell the support team and they're gonna help you, okay? And as you can see, our overall migration is 60% done in here. So as you can see, our migration is almost complete in here. And now if I'm just going to check my website, so let's check it out our website. And as you can see, we get exactly same to same website in here. As you can see, we get exactly same to same website uh, in our new domain. And if I'm going to visit my old domain, this is my old domain. As you can see, this is already have a website in there. Also in my new website, also up and running in there. Okay. And now if you like to change the domain, you just need to go this manage access. And then you need to click on these uh, domain management and now you need to add here your domain and also you need to change this the DNS also uh, then it's gonna be available okay I hope guys you get a clear idea about cloud OS autonomous and if you have any questions about it then you can let me know in comment section and also if you need more support then I highly recommend you talk with them like just click on this need to help this button and if you need help my channel then I highly recommend you subscribe now because I try to upload videos about redesign website or design website like this videos I try to make. So yeah, thank you so much for watching.